Hi babes, welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm back with the Starring Photo Cards video as per usual. Um, yeah, my, was it my last video was my Bell Collection one, I believe, was it? Um, yeah, I don't know how that video did because I'm filming this video on March 7th, so yeah. Um, but hopefully y'all didn't mind. I, like, I just edited that video last night. It wasn't really a video I'm, like, super content with, but I also, like, I don't know. I don't want to always, like, make, like, super just, like, photo card videos, so I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. But anyway, we're going to store photo cards today. I already know what I want to talk about. Okay, I kind of decided that I don't really like talking about my video calls on my channel anymore because... There's just this weird trend of people like witch hunting fan sign winner lists and calling people who do calls like serial callers and stuff. But, um, which, okay, I have like a whole other opinion on that. I feel like if you're somebody who goes through every single winner list and like cross checks people's phone numbers and stuff, that's really weird and that's jobless behavior. I digress, but anyway, um, oh my god, I'm almost out of Japanese size sleeves, I'm gonna kill myself. Anyway, I did, tonight I did three calls, okay, um, I don't know, two of them, I was like, whatever, that's fine, but then my third call, I applied, like, two of them, my friend put me down for the fan sign because my friend wanted me to do it, I was like, sure, why not, and then the third one I, I applied for myself, and it was, the third one was, like, a different one, so two of the calls were for the same group wait is this japanese size it is whoops but yeah two of the calls were for the same group one of them was like a group call and the other one was like a one-on-one -on -one call and then the other call that i bought myself was a um does this go in this size sleeve i don't remember was a one-on-one -on -one with a member from a completely different group completely different company whatever anyway i'm not gonna say the group that i talked to because obviously like i don't want anybody to like send them any weird kind of hate or whatever but one of the members I talked to was such a dick I was actually shocked because I've never had that kind of fan sign experience like I wouldn't necessarily say the call was bad because it was literally just that one member but he was so weird like when I he was the first very first one um and I talked to him like when I first saw him he was like being nice but then I started speaking English right because I was like trying to gauge whether or not we could have a conversation in English. The second I started speaking English, he was like being a dick, right? I was like, oh, he's in a bad mood. Like I could just tell. Um, and so I asked him a question in English. He didn't understand. So he like leaned in to talk to the translator. Before the translator could speak, I, I asked the question in Korean because bitch, I've been studying my Korean, okay, period. Anyway, and then the second I asked him in Korean, he, like, immediately got excited. He was like, oh, you speak Korean? I was like, oh, you know, 한국어 조금 알겠어요, whatever. And he got super fucking hyped that I spoke to him in Korean. And he, like, after that, he started being super sweet. I was like, what the fuck? Like, it was giving, like, dirty bitch likes Korean idols. Like, it was giving that. You know what I mean? Um, Like, it was giving dirty foreigner vibe. Um, So I was like, what the fuck? And I had two friends who did the same call. One of my friends was 10th for the call. I was 15th and my other friend was 30th. And my friend who was 10th, she was like, yeah, like I talked to him, he was cool. But then she went back and watched her call footage. And the second that he thought he was like covered off the screen, he immediately made like a stank face. And then my other friend, she was very last. He was being a dick to her too. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I get it. Like talking to 30 people in a row, already in itself is like a lot right but then you know some people are not going to speak korean and there's going to be like a language barrier and that can be like really frustrating like totally like i totally get that but why are you being a dick like literally he was only nice to my first friend because my first friend said some stuff in korean just like simple stuff like like Anyaseyo, or like Kamsamnida, whatever like just saying basic korean and like every time my friend spoke basic korean he was like being nice but then like back to english it was like fucking rude i was like i was actually so shocked but yeah that was like my worst fan sign experience it wasn't even that bad because obviously once i started i was like okay i'm like internally i was just like yeah i'm gonna talk to him in korean for the rest of the call so i did but it was just such a weird experience like he was just such a dick like he just definitely seemed like he didn't want to be there 
um and that's like the first time i've ever had that kind of experience where like an idol like like if they were in a bad mood like that was the first time i could tell you know what i mean so i was kind of like Ugh, like i don't know but then like an hour later i had a one-on-one -on -one with one of the other members and that went really well like he was super sweet um you know what i mean um so that call was fine but like the first one threw me off i was like oh my god this guy's kind of like a dick like what the hell and uh, my friends and i were talking about it in like a group chat and then one of my other friends chimed in and she's like he's so ugly to even be acting like that like why does he think he's all that like he has the audacity to be rude to fans when he looks like that i was like dying but yeah i just wanted to share that because what the fuck that's like the weirdest experience i've ever had and you know my like my other two one-on-ones though they were great one of them is an idol that i've already met before and i've always had a good time talking to them so yeah and today's call was great and then the one member from the group um that i did the one-on-one -on -one with he was also really sweet um and i actually had a really good call with him i was so nervous because like i said my friend put me down for these calls so like i didn't apply for these ones right so my friend didn't, my friend just was like, can you do this group call on this day? And I was like, yeah, I can do the call. My friend's like, okay. And then my friend put me down also for a one-on-one, -on -one, which I didn't know about until my name was on the winner list. And my friend's like, oh yeah, you also won for this member. And I was like, okay. Because I didn't know I was doing a one-on-one. -on -one, so I was like, okay. Anyway, so I go on K profiles, right? To see like the member my friend put me down for. Why? My friend is such a fucking asshole for this. <laughs> she put me down for the youngest member. And I was like, okay. My friend's like, yeah, I put you down for the mock nails. Like, that's fine. I scroll on K profiles. I'm scrolling through the list of the members. I see his age. My jaw literally dropped. I was like, oh my God, I'm skipping the call. Like, I'm not talking to a kid who's like six years younger than me. I like actually want to skip the call. Mind you, I'm 20. I'm turning 21 literally in eight days. Okay. I'm like so fucking scared. Oh my god, I don't want to be 21. But anyway, yeah. I was like, what the oh my god, also first press cherry card. Who cheered? Um, but yeah, I was like, oh my god, I literally can't do this call. Like, I cannot talk to a 14-year-old boy. I can't. I really, really can't. Like, he's the same age as my brother. Um, or maybe he's 15, I don't remember. But yeah, I'm not my brother. I'm talking about the idol. I know how old my brother is. But yeah, they're like the same age or whatever. So I was like, what the fuck? Um, but I decided not to skip the call. I actually thought I was going to have to, though, because my calls were, like, overlapping. Originally, I thought my other one-on-one -on -one with, like, a different idol was going to overlap with my group call. But then they, like, had delays, so it didn't. And then I thought it was going to overlap with my other one-on-one. -on -one. So I was like, oh, like, I'm going to skip this one-on-one -on -one and I'm going to do the one that I bought. Because with MakeStar, with MakeStar, you don't have to answer the call on MakeStar. And they'll still send you, like, the signed Polaroid and the album and stuff. Some stores, though, like, you, they're, they don't allow you to skip the call. If you skip the call, you don't get the winner benefits, even though you won the call. Like, you just can't. So, that's why I was like, oh, I'm probably just going to skip, to be honest. Because, like, bitch, I have no business talking to, like, a four, like 15-year-old. I think he's actually 15, okay? Or wait, maybe he's 16. Wait, okay, I think he's 09. My brother is 09. Um, that's, like, a six, yeah. That's, like, a six-year age difference. So, he's, like, 15 now or so. Um, but yeah, I was like, what the fuck? But the call went really well. He was really nice. It was kind of like awkward because I was like, I was trying to think. I was like talking to him. Like I talked to my brother. I was like, so like, what kind of video games do you like to play? Or like, <laughs> whatever, you know, I was like just asking him little things like that. But he was really sweet. He was like, he was like talking about like, just how grateful he was that like I showed up and that, you know, like, um, that I was supporting his group, which, like, I didn't have the heart to say, like, oh, yeah, I didn't buy this fan sign, but, um, you know, I don't know. It wasn't that bad, though, okay? Sorry, I have to grab my binders and stuff, but I think, overall, I'm pretty glad that I didn't skip the call because it went well, so, you know, whatever. Especially after that first call with the first guy, I was like, I don't know. But anyway, let me organize my cards. Um, hold on, I have, like, my camera really low right now because i like wanted to see what i was doing so yeah i'm gonna organize these into stacks really quick um i have a lot of cards today i just have a lot of cards that like were built up um so yeah so i had to like go in and like separate my cards i don't know luna artemis stacy also my group order stuff finally came in um i was so worried that some of my stuff got lost because 
it originally got returned to my go like from my Pokemarket go that i joined um it got returned and i was like oh you know i was like super worried but they resent it out it just took them a while um so i have everything now so i'm chilling but yeah i was a little bit worried i'm not gonna lie do i have an espa stock yet no i don't okay oh my gosh you can't really see i'm sorry um, but yeah, I just have some like fun cards. I have a lot of Luna today. Somebody so kindly gifted me Luna cards. Also, I finally have a fucking non-album Jinsel card. We're shocked. Um, but yeah, somebody very kindly gifted me cards. I'm really grateful. Like, y'all don't need to send me any gifts or anything. It's just super sweet. But yeah, they gifted me just like 10 Luna cards or maybe more than that. I don't know. Also, I finally have a Woods card. I have not had a woods card in forever. I actually miss him so bad. He posted on his story today. His hair is like shaved and it's like fucking bright red. I was like, oh my God. Like he looks so goofy, but I miss him so bad. Um, yeah. Also, I'm almost done with Artemis or with Audi Circle. I'm literally missing two cards. I have to buy them. But anyway, let me sort my shit really quickly. I have two Espa cards. Two... Ice cards, three Stacy cards, three Artemis cards, three Kiss of Life cards. Okay, sorry, that took me a second to sort everything because I just grabbed random cards, but this is the little stack we have today. Um, yeah. Anyway, first group we're gonna, or first binder we're gonna get into is my Woods binder. Oh my god, this binder's so fucking heavy. Also, um, I don't know, I just feel like talking about random shit. I'm like back in my EXO era. I don't know. I think Trip Last covering Call Me Baby got me back in my EXO shit. Because I've been listening to EXO like crazy. Oh my god. This tripod, tripod, tripod fucking sucks. Anyway, yeah, also I'm so behind on my woods collection, y'all. I just like don't look, like I don't reach, like I don't check out woods tags that often anymore. I don't know. I think I'm just overwhelmed by the amount of things that I'm missing, but this is also like the perfect time for me to like work, like catch up while he's in the military, which is so sad. I miss him so bad. But anyway, I have this one card. I think it's for this version, right? Yeah, it is. So I'm actually finishing. Is this the control version? I don't remember. But yeah, I have this card I traded, like a Shaldron PC for it. But why is it so blurry? Like, Singon, why'd you do this? But yeah. So this page is done. Ugh. I want to buy the last three cards I'm missing. If anybody has for cheap, or if you want to trade, like I have a lot of shit I just don't have posted right now. Well, uh, my cat is licking my Espo binder. Okay. Anyway, that was that for Woods. So sad I only have one fucking card for him. I miss him so bad. I love him so much. I was considering downsizing my Woods collection and then I like had to slap myself. I was like, bitch, what the fuck? Are you even thinking right now? Like, I don't know. Um, but I also, but like, I kind of want to get rid of my X1 collection. Because I don't really follow post X1 groups, except for like, Drippin. Oh my gosh, also Drippin's having to come back. Who cheered? Um, and I, like, Juno isn't even my Drippin bias. Like, my Drippin bias is Minso. So, yeah. Um, and also, I actually got rid of my Bomb Goo collection. I did that earlier this morning, actually. I just, like, realized I'm not super into collecting Bomgyu anymore. Like, I like TXT and all. I like their music, but I just don't, like, I don't like collecting him. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I did keep two cards. But I don't know what to do with them. Oh, my God. I'm also back in, like, my Red Velvet era. After their comeback, I kind of, like, stopped listening to them a little bit. But I'm listening to them again. And I'm like, damn, like, why did I stop listening to Red Velvet? You know? But I have a card for my Jin Soul non album collection I was thinking like obviously I'm not really anywhere near caught up on this collection because this is just her like Luna stuff but I'm thinking like once I catch up on all of Jin Soul's like Luna stuff what am I gonna do I don't really want to collect her for Artemis you know what I mean sorry this is shaky also I bought I literally like a few hours ago I bought this go on make star card so I actually have this on the way finally after two years so finally, I will have this card. But I have one card for Jinsel. I have her PC holder card from Everline. It does not go on this page. It goes on this page. So yeah, she is so gorgeous. I love this card. Pretty, prettiest girl ever. I love her so bad. 
I'm so excited for Artemis debut and Triple S full group debut. Oh my god, I'm so fucking hyped. Um, but yeah, I need to really work on this collection. Holy shit. I don't know why though. Sometimes I find Luna Pops for really cheap, but I never find Jinsel for cheap. It's always the other members. And like when I find Jinsel Pops I need, they're always like $15. And I'm like, I might just sell all my Luna Pops that I have and use that money to buy the ones that I'm missing for her. But I don't know. Also, this binder is so scuffed. Okay, next we have Lucembol. I know Lucembol is also having a comeback. Um, what is a girl going to do? I don't know. But I have one card for Lucembol. I thought I bought the last of Heiju's space version cards. But I'm actually an idiot because one of the ones I bought was her um, Every Music card, which I already have. So yeah, I bought this one though. Really cute. Um, so yeah, I am still missing her other one, unfortunately. I really thought that I was going to finish her. But then I was looking at my template and I was like, huh? Like, where's the other card that I have? And I realized it was her Ever Music one. So I have a dupe of this card. So I guess if anybody wants to trade it for any other Ever Music card I'm missing, which is most of them, um, we can do that. But yeah, that was all for Lucembol. Very sad. Just one card today. And then we have Eyes One. I have one card for Eyes One. I have Sakura's other card, but I'm not putting that away today. I have this Hitomi um, Color Eyes card. So, yeah. Oh, the color looks so different on camera. Any oh, anyway, yeah, so I have this. I want to collect more Eyes One sets. I really want to collect the Onoric Diary prop set. You know which one I'm talking about. Plus, I have four One Young Carousel cards, so I could probably trade a Fishbowl Chewon pretty easily. And I do have some of the other members' cards already, so I don't know. That's just like something I want to do. But also, Twice, I did not really like Twice's comeback. This is two comebacks in a row for me where I'm not really feeling the music. So I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep my Twice collection around. But I have a bunch of Dahan cards on the way from M, so hopefully that will make me like love collecting twice again if not i'm probably gonna just sell everything i don't know okay next we have my espa and stacy binder let me zoom y'all in anyway for espa i actually need to get my ipad because i need to look at a template to see what i have also i don't know where i put my pink sleeves so i'm not gonna put pink sleeves in but i have two cards for drama i have this one i think sav gave to me this one and then i bought this one from sav or maybe I traded for this. I don't know. I don't remember. Or no, no. Sav gifted me like a Ning Ning like Target card or something. Or like Barnes Noble card or something. I don't remember. Or Walmart. I don't, I don't fucking remember. Anyway, I bought this card. And I have this one I think I traded for. But yeah, I need to pull up my template to figure out where these cards go. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Giant version. This one is the Ning Ning Giant version. She's so pretty. So she's going to go here. Yeah, I don't know where I put my pink sleeves. I'll have to fill this in off camera. And then this card is her S mini. So yeah, Giselle's will go right in this spot. This card is so pretty. Giselle's photo cards, like her old cards, I don't love, but her drama cards are really nice. Like girly is getting better at taking photo card pictures. So yeah, that's that for Espa. Very short just these two cards um but yeah i really love the drama cards and low-key i was thinking of like i kind of want to collect uh rena again like i don't know and low-key the whole like scandal of her dating made me love her even more i don't know why um but i've been actually thinking about collecting her again for a while but then i don't want to pick up ot4 but i don't really want to drop giselle or ningning either but i feel like it'd be weird to only collect Three members and not collect winter because i still love winter i just don't want to collect ot4 but i know it's gonna like look weird if i only collect three members and not all four at that point so i don't know but anyway we can move oh my god i'm like gonna break my tripod honestly back to the binder because i do have some twice cards oh my sorry i'm like manhandling the fuck out of my tripod it's so low I don't know. But I just have two cards today. They're actually for my OT. Oh. They're for my OT9 sets. Here's one of them. 
For starters, I have this Geo card. She's so pretty. I don't have anything for the new album. I didn't even buy it. I don't know. I just didn't, like, I, I'm just gonna buy the card separately, you know what I mean? And then I have this Jonghyun for my OT9 set for Eyes Wide Open. She's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, this is the Twice Progress today. Very little. So we can move on. Okay, we have this binder again because I have Stacy cards. I forgot. So, yeah, I also, I think I need to pull up a template for this because I don't remember which Suman cards I have. Um, first of all, though, I do know for a fact I have her ASAP card, the other one I was missing. Finally have this card. Yeah, I bought this card from that Pokemarket Go. Like, was it last year? I don't know. It was a while, but yeah, I finally have this, so... This page is done. Yippee, hip hip hooray. And then I don't have anything for stereotypes still. What the hell's that? Okay. And then for bubble, I'm actually missing two cards for bubble. I thought I had bubble completed or teen fresh, but I don't, but I have these two cards. Let me pull up a template though. Cause I don't know which ones, actually wait. I think one of these is the digi pack. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Also, wait. Did I switch my Suman sleeves? <gasps> I did. Okay. I switched my Suman sleeves back to my standard size. So let me resleeve these cards really quick. Sorry. I forgot that I re resleeved my Suman collection. So she actually goes in these sleeves. I'm so stupid. I just have such a bad memory. I don't know. Also, though, lately I've been thinking of like downsizing more of my collections. I don't think I'm a downsize Stacy or Espa, but I don't know. It's just a thought that's been coming to my mind. Like after I did my big downsize in, what was that, November or December? I, um, I just really like am into downsizing, you know? I don't know. I'm still going to pull up a template because I'm not sure. And I don't want to put these in the wrong spot because then I'm going to be too lazy to fix it. Bubble. <laughs> Bubble. Okay, this is the arcade version, one of them. So I have this one for the arcade version. She's so pretty. I love her blonde hair, it's so pretty. And then, yeah, this one was the other digi pack. So I'm done with her digi packs. So I'm just missing one bubble version and one arcade version. And then, yeah, I'll put the pink sleeves in off camera because I don't know where they are. So, yeah. But that's that for my Suman collection. Okay, next we have wobbly camera moment. Next we have Artemis. For Artemis, I have three cards. For one, I have this Kim Lip. I have 208, finally. The last two cards I'm missing are actually both Kim Lip cards. But yeah, I finally have this one I bought. So pretty. I need to get these last two cards. I'm trying to find somebody who's selling both of the cards that I'm missing though. Because I'm missing her 207 and her 211. Um, so yeah. But I have this 210. This card is so pretty. This might be my favorite card of hers for this album. Or maybe, or 209 actually. Yeah, 209 or 210 is my favorite. Are my favorites. So, yeah. And then for 211, I have Teddy. She has like a little bit of like the silver marks on her face. I might take a piece of tape and take those off, but I'll do it later, I guess. But yeah, I have her done finally. <laughs> so I have her completed. So yeah, I'm just missing these two Kim Lip cards. If you have both of these for sale, preferably scanned so I can buy them for like three or four dollars each, please let me know. Because I want to finish this before they come back. Um, so yeah. Next we have Kiss of Life, my ball collection. Oy. Yeah, I need to get more pages for this too, um, but it's fine. Oh my gosh. Um, but I have, first of all, I have two cards for this first page. I have these bell pops. I traded with Bryn. Thanks, Bryn. Shout out, Bryn. Um, but yeah, I just wanted two 
cards from their debut era for like just to fill out the page here um so i'm just gonna put this one here and this one here i'm not gonna collect pops for her i say as i have three and Bryn also gifted me like a pop a pop from bad news era <laughs> but yeah i'm not gonna collect pops for her anyway next i have this nati card for my ot4 set oh my gosh somebody's live on instagram anyway but yeah i have that nati card all right group i like just went live and i wanted to check who went live but it's not my bias so i <laughs> i clicked off but yeah that was all for kiss of life um very simple not much hey. okay bye bell next we have my ot24 oi triple s binder one of my friends alex he actually went to the concert in seoul so he actually picked up some merch for me and a couple of their friends including the key ring or like the keychain so i just put it in front of my thing i also have like soyon's poster her pin the like benefit card um and like something else or whatever but yeah i don't know anyway i just have some evolution scos today not that many i'm actually missing six cards i believe for evolution now so yeah and then i actually have like my caddy package that's supposed to arrive soon hopefully it arrives before i go on vacation because that package has some of my hello 82 scos that i'm missing um so it'd be nice to get those but oh my gosh i have three cards for each version okay first for 207 i have mm, yuyan so i have this yuyan card and then I actually have this Cheon duplicate and I did DM somebody to trade because they had, um, I think like Jiu's, oh my gosh, 207, but they, I think I, I think they ignored me. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to find a trade for this card. Um, and then I have Cotonay's 207. I traded somebody for this card. I think I traded a friend. I don't remember though. Um, so yeah, I have her. Wait, these pages are kind of tight with the hell. I don't know. Anyway, and I also have Mayu. Oh, I love her. She's so pretty. Okay. This page is like very... A lot of air, you know? <laughs> also, I'm not sure how I'm going to set up for OT24. I'm very confused how I'm going to do that. So, yeah. Anyway... For this version, I have Ju, Taeyeon, and Nakyung. So let me take these fillers out. So first we have Ju. I love this card. Yeah, this card is beautiful. Um, her Hello D2 Sko from Assemble is still my favorite Ju card, but this one's pretty nice. And I have my favorite Taeyeon. I don't know why, I just really like this card. Even though the quality is kind of like blurry, I just really like this card. I don't know. She's so pretty. Okay. And then, lastly, I have Naki. Um, I want to buy the remaining cards before their debut slash comeback. Um, so yeah, I need to buy the last eight cards. I'm only missing four from each version, huh? That's not bad. Um, hopefully I can get this trade to go through. Hopefully this person replies to me. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So that was that for Triple S, my, like, album card collection. So we can move on because next I just have, like, Soyeon non-album stuff. Okay. Here is my Soyeon binder. Let me lower that a little bit. My camera's like super fucking slanted. I don't know. Anyway, the binder's kind of getting full actually, which sucks. I'm gonna have to get a new one, and this is my new binder, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, and I have a lot of stuff on the way for her too. Also, some of my hollow pages or hollow sleeves, some of them are like really hollow. Other ones are not, so I'm gonna have to like get new hollow pages, which is annoying. I don't know. 
Anyway, first I have just some FCOs for the first edition Adam. So I have, first I have for this page, I have 105, um, which is this one. So I finally have this card. Oh my God. This card was kind of the bane of my existence because this was the only digital FCO I was missing for Adam for her, um, for the first edition. So yeah, and I'm still missing fucking two of her third edition ones, which is just awesome. And then I have 102 or 101, 102 and 103 for this page. So yeah, I think my cat is about to walk over here in a second and be annoying. So I just need to get 104, I don't know. Hopefully I can get it soon, but first I have 102, which is this one. One, two. I don't know why I had to count that out, sorry. And then we have 103. Oh, here comes my cat. Can you just not do that, please? Gosh, these pages are like tight because I have like so much in each pocket. Now there's just cat hair on my desk. Can you get down? She's just sitting right here. Okay, and then I have 101. Gosh, my fucking back hurts so bad. I'm like actually becoming a hag. I don't know. Okay. So I'm just missing 104 for the first edition FCOs for her. Somebody fucking sell me this card, please. I just want this done. And then I actually have some of her second edition ones. I just, I'm not putting those away today. Um, and then I have for binary first edition, I have this FCO, I have 104. And I actually have almost all her first edition binary on the way. I think I'm only missing like two. So that will be exciting to get those. But yeah, I just have this. So yeah, so exciting. One fucking card. Um, and then we can move on to like, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, just some of these sleeves are just not as hollow. Maybe it's hard to tell because there's like light reflecting, but like compare this hollow to like this hollow, you know, you can definitely see the difference. It kind of bothers me a little bit, not gonna lie. Um, for this page, I have her holder card for Queendom Puzzle. I'm just missing her 50k one benefit card. Um, but I don't ever see that for sale. Or maybe I have and I just got it confused with this one, but yeah. This card is so cute though. I just really love Soyon guys, like, I don't know. Okay, how pretty. And then for this, I have her Levolution K-Town like straw thingy. I wasn't even gonna store this, but I made room for it. So I was like, you know what, why the fuck not? Um, oh my God, hello. I don't know if I'm gonna get her other ones though. She has like other straw thingies from like other K-Town Trading Cafe stuff, but yeah, I don't really like, I wasn't even buying this before to buy this. I bought this with like a pob before, so yeah, but that was that for my Soyon collection. Slow, slow progress, but like this page is almost done, which is really nice. So yeah, but I have to get a new binder for her and I think I'm going to do the cover like the arcade concept or some shit like that. I don't know. But yeah, this binder is getting thick. But yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to put like Assemble 24 stuff in here. So yeah, I'm going to have to get a new binder. Very last binder of this video. Sorry. It is my Luna OT12 binder. I did some reorganizing for this binder. I moved around some of the pre-debut stuff to kind of like decrease some of the pages that I have in here. Um, and I also stopped collecting the hash um, and then MMT benefits for everybody. 
I put ginsels in my ginsel binder, but yeah, I'm not collecting the rest. So yeah, but first thing I have is I have this first press Teddy Solo card. So yeah, I bought this for like $3. So shout out to Nini. Appreciate you girl. But yeah, so I have that. Finally, like some work on pre-debut Luna. Um, okay, let me organize the rest of these because, um, okay. So we can flip ahead. Okay, let, let me show you really quick. So yeah, I kind of consolidated some of these pages. So like Kim Lip, I put Kim Lip solos here, like her other two. Kim Lip and Soldier and Cherry, Teddy, whatever. Um, and then I moved Eve's solo cards here and then I made this an eight pattern because before it was a six pattern. So yeah, just to kind of decrease some of like the volume of pages that I have. Also for this, um, yeah, I just did this like two six patterns. I didn't put white sleeves in here. But yeah, and then I'm gonna click Kim Lip's attendance card for hustle spots here. But yeah, I need to go ahead and fill this with white sleeves. I just have not done that yet. But anyway, which means this page is actually done. Isn't that exciting? But anyway, first for Midnight, I have this Heejin. She is so pretty. Okay, Heejin. And then I have a Teddy card for the, uh, I believe, yeah, the C version. Okay, first card for her. Well, on camera, it looks like super yellow, but it's actually not that yellow in person. Okay. This card is kind of crooked. Hold on. Miss my Texas. Okay. That was after midnight. And then for PTT, I have, let me organize these by version. B version, A version. I don't know. First, I have this A version Heejin with her pink eyebrows. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I have that. And then for this version, I have the last Heejin. She is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love her. I need to work on her solo too. Oh my God. I, there's someone on Instagram selling, like, um, album set of hers, and I might just buy it off them. But I commented, like, asking if it was still available, and they haven't replied yet, so I don't know. Okay, and then for the C version, I have a Heejin card too. I have this one. These are all gifted to me, by the way, so I'm really grateful. Like, all these Heejins. Um, gosh, I forgot how thin these cards are. Holy shit. So, yeah, this Heejin. And then for the D version, I have this Heejin and this Heejin. So I'm finishing Heejin and I'm finishing Hyunjin. And I have one Hustle card for this page too. And I think I actually have the other two cards of hers. They're just in my stack for whenever I film my next video. There's a little, a little hair. So, oh my god. How exciting, no? And then, the last card I have is for Flip That. I have one Heejin for the A version. I have this one. And this is the very last card to store. Okay. Guys. Both my Instagrams. All my supplies, link down below. No affiliate links. Um, Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, especially if you made it this far into the video. I hope to see you in my next video. Next video will probably be a storing photo cards video or it will be a haul. I think it's going to be a storing photo cards though. So stay tuned for that if you are interested. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, my God.